Hey y'all, Autumn Prepper here with a mealworm update. And I scooped out some, you know, bottom uh, bedding that the mealworms are on. And if you look really closely, you'll see tiny, tiny little mealworms squirming around in there. But you gotta look close, because they're tiny. Not sure how far I can zoom in here. Yeah, you see one there in the middle. That one's not so tiny. Sometimes they're really tiny, but anyhow, these are my neglected mealworms. And they're all beetles and stuff like that. I, Because I started them all at the same stage, they seem to like die off, like I've had a massive die off of adult beetles. And a lot of, um, I've not been rotating the bedding like I should be. And, uh, Anyhow, so I'm kind of just letting these guys run with it. I do take the dead beetles out. I'm not sure if they have any nutritional value, but I take them out, I grind them up, and I give them to the quail. And they seem to eat them just fine. Uh, I do pull out some live mealworms, but uh, unlike the counterparts of, I'm always afraid to take anything out of the mealworm bin because the, the babies are just so microscopically small. This is an apple or what's left of one. Anyhow, and, uh, they do a pretty good job on on the corn as well. Those are all uh, sheds. I think I saw a baby move on that one. But they actually bore out the middle too. It's amazing. And um, as you can see, you know, fresh, freshly hatched mealworm. This apple was given to them about 10 days ago. And that's all that's left in there. Uh, they eat that up pretty good. But mealworms are hard because they, uh, they're just, they will eat their eggs. And this cloth, this little paper towel is in here because some of them like to lay their eggs on there. And I don't see any eggs right now. Um, yeah, there's a couple. Um, if you look real close, see those little white ones, little white specks? But because they lay them on stuff like this, they eat them. So, anyhow, but they're they're a little on the neglected side. And uh, I'm to think here, what else I got? Now a lot of this is poo. You can see the big ones. I'm always looking to see see that tiny little one there. There's a dead one. Yeah, there's a couple little ones in there, but I was looking for the real itty bitty tiny ones. And if I was to take this out and sift it, there's about an inch of droppings. These things poop like crazy. That is almost all dropping in there. And uh, I found that if you let it get about two inches deep, uh, the babies have a better chance of surviving because the beetles don't like to bore down that far. Yeah, I don't see any little babies in there. Anyhow, all right, my neglected mealworm bin. I'll have to do a video on how to clean that out. All righty, folks. All right, folks, here's a bin with, as you can see, a lot more mealworms in it and had a lot less, uh, a lot less, um, beetles. This is my secondary bin. Gosh, all this garbage in here. I give them things that I don't know if they'll eat or not, and they eat them. Most of the beetles are, I put about, oh, about 50 beetles in here, about um, maybe eight months ago. So I've lost, most of these beetles are dead. And uh, a new crop of beetles, if I don't take these uh, mealworms out, because they're almost ready to go, if I don't take them out, you could see some already starting to pupate. And they will create new beetles. So I'm trying to see if there's any tiny little itty bitty um, mealworms in here. That pretty much tells me whether or not I'm feeding them enough. Um, if they're eating their own larva. And anyhow, again, kind of neglected. Um, what I should be doing is rotating these out every two weeks. 
rotating the bedding out so that the eggs that they lay have a chance to thrive. And, uh, you know, sometimes life just gets away. And uh, the biggest things for these bugs and the Dubai beetles is that they, uh, excuse me, um, they require heat. And uh, like temperatures above 70, 75, if they don't get it, they will start to go very dormant on you and stop the whole reproduction cycle. All right, there you go. Mealy worms.